Welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one we're going to look at the Skaven Doom Wheel. So here's what the uh, model is going to look like when I'm all done. Um, at the time that I painted this, I basically followed the uh, GW Painting Guide on their website, which they've since taken down. And now that we have a new set of paints coming out, um, it's going to be a little bit different, but uh, I also use some Reaper paints, so you might be able to convert these things. Um, yeah, so starting off I did a black spray coat, uh, and then what I did is I painted on some of the uh, the browns here. So this is um, a base coat of uh, Camry Brown, I believe it is, and uh, some washes. And then what I've done is to get different uh, brown tones here, so this one here is uh, dark flesh, so you water that down, or mix it with a mixing uh, medium, the, with a flat... Uh, or the matte medium and you can kind of do a glaze so what you're doing is you're just tinting the some of the brown so some of these are camo green some of these are uh, dark flesh and uh, some of them are also going to be scorched brown so what we're doing is we're giving uh, different browns and so it just breaks things up I've got a bit of uh, bolt gun metal around uh, on all the the metal bits and you can see that base coat of bolt gun metal around there and I've got all the browns uh, base coated as well so um, bolt gun metal, it's, uh, it takes a while to get that on a nice uh, base, but uh, really stands out in a couple of washes and it's looking really good. There's another look at the, the browns, and you can see um, the different colors there, uh, some of the green, some of the reddish browns, and then uh, the different washes will help blend those together. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm working on the different areas. So I'm using a, a coppery color here. So I'm using a couple of the different Reaper metallics. So one of them is a scorched metal. I believe it's this one. And then there's like a, a, a brass one. So the, the different Reaper ones, um, well, the, the, their, uh, their bolt gun metal equivalent isn't as nice as bolt gun. The, the other ones give you a bit of different options. And so I'm going to do a patina finish on this and that'll, uh, that'll help that out. Bit of scab red up there, and some grays on these hoses. And there you can see there's the, so that's kind of like a tin bits color, and this one here is a bit more of a brass color. And uh, again, depends what uh, paint range you're using. Um, any ones will do, or you can just mix a little bit of tint into uh, a gold or a bolt gun or whatever the uh, whatever the color is you're using. I find the metallics take a long time because you got to really watch out you don't get them on the other colors. So I, I tend to try to do them near the beginning. Uh, so now on the bolt gun here, I've got uh, black wash. And what that helps do as well is any of the, uh, the interfaces there between the two colors, it kind of blends that and hides any small imperfections you might have. Okay, so here's the scab red area now highlighted with uh, blood red. So... Um, Again, I don't know what the new GW paints are going to be like for reds, but Blood Red in the old range was one of my favorites, uh, better than the Reaper Reds as far as I was concerned. And uh, we'll see if the new ones are how they stack up. Okay, and uh, now I'm doing some of the Warp Stones here, and so that's base coated with a uh, Orchide shade, and then we're highlighting it up. We're going to be highlighting up through the uh, Dark Angels Green and Snot Green sort of colors. Okay, so you can see that uh, snot green kind of going on there. I'm just paint, trying to paint on the uh, the sharper edges and put it a little bit thicker. I'm going to have a scorpion green kind of a highlight and then white on the very tips of things. And you can see how these metallics are coming through as well. There we go with the, uh, the lighter colors just on the edges now. So I'm, each layer is kind of smaller and smaller towards the edges. Okay, so this is the uh, the driver here, or actually the one of the operators, I guess, in the back. And I'm using one of the uh, the Reaper uh, browns. This one's like a reddish brown. I think that's ruddy brown, and then it's going to be like an oiled leather type of a color. Um, one of the reasons I like the Reaper range is because there's so many different browns, and you have some warm ones, some cool ones, and that sort of thing. Now I'm doing the uh, the banner here, and so I want this to look pretty rough and, and beat up. Um, so I'm painting over the black and uh, again using some of the Reaper browns there. Not sure exactly which one that is, um, but uh, going to be giving it some washes. Okay, so I've highlighted this up and given this a Thraca green wash just to help blend and, and give it a bit more of a rich color. 
um, using some of the highlights there on the driver and you can see the patina finish there. So uh, if you're using GW paints you can use the Hawk Turquoise and Dark Angels Green mix sort of thing so you water that down and you kind of paint it on the cracks. Uh, if you're using Reapers you can just use it straight out of the bottle and that's one of the uh, the Blue Ocean Triad uh, ones so it's like out of a, a sea foam green I think it's called. Okay so working up the highlights here and uh, you can just see how I'm working on that there and I'm going to use some washes to, to blend that down. Okay, so this guy is getting finished up there. He's got a, I'm going to have to do some of the flesh here and uh, working on these gray cloaks as well. Okay, so that's the um, same blood red as the uh, the other bits there and you can see um, some of the uh, the greens on there and uh, this is another one of the camel green type uh, colors from Reaper so just using different triads um, again the thing I like about Reaper is that uh, you can just use those straight out of the bottle you don't have to worry about mixing things and keeping track of what you did quite as much okay so we're starting to assemble it all now now that I have all the individual pieces painted up and so these wheels kinda go in there and uh, you gotta dry fit everything well before painting and uh, obviously if you painted any of these surfaces you want to probably use super glue instead of your regular plastic glue and uh, yeah it's coming together quite nicely now uh, now these rats here we started out with a base one color base coat and then just picking out a couple of the different ones in whatever browns you've got uh, so you can use beastel brown you can use uh, vermin brown and you can you have ones you know black so uh, the idea there is that uh, you know different variation in the rat colors. The tails uh, and any of the skin is going to be Teleron flesh and then highlighted with the rosy flesh triad. Uh, highlighting this here with some of the Reaper grays so uh, they have some already mixed. If you're using GW, Adaptus Battle Gray, Codex Gray kind of thing will work. And trying to put some sort of a Skaven symbol there. It didn't turn out that nicely but uh, it'll do the trick for the tabletop. And there, final assembly, and we're ready to go. Uh, the base is done with all um, whatever texture you want. I use coffee grounds and then paint it over with a Liquitex, basically a scorched brown kind of a color, and then dry brush it with Bisto brown, and then like a either vermin brown or or bleached bone or something like that. And I added some uh, tufts from Army Painter, and uh, that's about all there is to it. So let's take a look around the different parts of the model. Um, used a bit of the Reaper Rust Brown uh, on all the silver metallic stuff. And uh, yeah, so it's the patina kind of color there. So it's kind of three different uh, metallics going on as well as uh, some of the wood colors. So kind of goes with the rest of my Skaven army. Trying to keep the uh, the colors consistent and a fun model to paint and uh, great on the tabletop. So yeah, the key with this one is uh, doing partial assemblies and then uh, dry fitting everything, make sure it goes together nicely so that way when you do the final assembly um, things will go in well and uh, you won't have to struggle with things that are already painted. So there's the driver, what he looks like in there and from the other side Again, yeah, dry fitting is key here. There's the guy in the back. And uh, that's it. Check out my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com. Uh, share, like, or comment on this video. See you next time.